Once upon a Deadpool ago, I did this design. Matter of fact, I recorded this video like two months ago, but here I am, ready to release it. <laughs> I procrastinate, man. <laughs> but uh, here we go. We're just gonna go ahead and bring that hair down to about a one and a half. And we're just gonna go ahead and get started on this Deadpool. And uh, I picked, well, this kid picked, my client, he picked a cartoonish Deadpool. He, he walked in with it on his phone and I'm like, hey, I could do it. Um, so I'm, I'm drawing it out with a stencil. I'm blueprinting my design before it's even on his head. And uh, we're just gonna take it little by little, step by step. And if I don't like what I drew with the stencil, it comes off with aftershave. So uh, yeah, very easy. You just put some aftershave on the neck strip and it'll all come right off. Matter of fact, I even rubbed it off a little bit right there. Yeah, this is not meant to be a permanent color solution. It's just meant to help guide your designs. But we're just gonna take it little by little, step by step, we're gonna do the eye, and, uh, and then we'll get down to the body in a bit. So we're basically done with the head of this Deadpool and we're going to be moving to the body real, real soon. Um, I did not make it exactly like the picture. If you need to change things a little bit or alter them just for your design, go ahead. Um, I recommend it because you know, someone's head is not the same as a picture. Hair does not work the same. So. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and get this going and then after that we'll use the trimmers we'll shave it and uh, after we shave it we'll throw on that graphitech color
so we're probably halfway through this video something like that i'm really guessing that but yeah we're we're just doing all the outlines right now with my cordless uh andy's outliners and we're just gonna go ahead and hit everywhere that's like outside of the lines that i drew that's how i like to use the stencils whatever i draw with the stencil is what's gonna stay with hair we're just gonna take it little by little and uh, yeah, he's holding a little Deadpool gun and a little Deadpool knife. <laughs> it's a water gun. And uh, yeah, we're gonna fade away from it. And fading away from it, what that's gonna do is that's gonna make Deadpool stand out more. It's gonna make him pop out more. He, it'll be more just him on the back of this kid's head. And I'm gonna be using Elegance Shave Gel and uh, shampoo blades. I will be using the shampoo blades. Uh, very, very good uh, razor blades. Very smooth. Um, the best blades I've used by far. And uh, that's the Detailed Barber's blade holder. You can find that. I'll put the, the link to Detailed Barber's website down in the description. Very good blade holder. And... Uh, yeah, we're just gonna take it little by little. Take your time. Usually, I just wanna say this ahead of time. Um, for anyone, for any one of you guys planning on doing designs, I recommend you have your clients make an appointment. And typically, I like to make these appointments my last haircuts of the day because this was my first time doing a Deadpool. And I had no idea how long I was gonna take. I took like 80 minutes on this kit. So almost an hour and a half. And, uh, but I, I didn't know I was gonna take that long. For all I knew, I could have taken two hours. I don't wanna take two hours, but I feel more comfortable knowing that if he's my last haircut of the day, I do have the pleasure of taking my time because I actually enjoy doing these designs. So my, my goal for doing designs big and new like this is to do it under 90 minutes, under an hour and a half because this is a new design for me i've never done this before if i do it again i'll do it in an hour but yeah that's pretty much it now we're done um doing the design it's absolutely done we're just going to trim the top we're going to do the rest of this kid's haircut and then we're going to get back to these finishing touches and i went ahead i got the uh Graphitec color pencils and i'm hitting black or, or along all the outlines and then i'm going to hit red all in the bald spots and that's just gonna give this design a lot more character you know it's deadpool he's got to be red and i find it easiest if you just do like single line strokes it's very easy that way but look at him his face already looks way better just by adding this black so yeah graphitech if you don't if you don't already have it i recommend you get it it's pretty cheap and they will last forever I've had these I've had these color pencils for man like three years. <laughs> I they they almost seem to never run out. And I am gonna need to get some more soon. So yeah, I recommend you guys get them. It's like less than 20 bucks for a pack. It's like 15 bucks, I think. And yeah, look, just one line strokes and then just keep adding one lines and one lines and one lines. So this is it. That's how I do this design. We're pretty much done with the color. Graphitech color pencils work real good. If there was any little downside, I'd say it's just that it's kind of smudgy. So, uh, but other than that, it gets the job done. I mean, it brings this design to life. I'm, I'm adding some white to the eyes just to make it pop a bit more. 
but yeah, it looks perfect. And that's the that's the design stencil right there. You can get it at detailedbarbers.com. And right here, you'll see a few of these designs, like this buffalo design I did. I never thought I'd ever do a buffalo design. But with the hair design stencil, I came out prepared. I'm able to blueprint my work before I'm actually getting to work. So it just helps on the long run. Like this, uh, like this bulldog right here. This bulldog came out perfect. And it's because I prepared myself. So yeah, if you guys want to check it out, I really recommend it. This is the new revolutionary way of doing designs. And it's just a lot safer overall. So if you guys want to check it out, you can get it at detailedbarbers.com. You can also check out these uh, stainless steel combs right here and a few other products. Make sure you subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. I'll put that info in the description. And peace, guys. Later.